Hey guys, what's up? It is Yu Chinchilla Notebook here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a different video and it is going to be on me telling you guys about all the colors and mutations that chinchillas can come in. There are so many that I think a lot of people don't even realize. So I'm going to be showing you all of them here today, including pictures so that you can really see. And the reason I'm doing this is just so that you guys can have an idea of what chinchillas can look like and the different colors. If you were going to get a chinchilla and you were deciding what color to get, this could also help you as well. All the information, obviously, that I'm telling you guys today, you can easily find online, but I just decided to put it into this video so that it's easy for you to see and you can just get it really quick. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so the first color I'm going to start it with is Standard Gray, which is what Merlin is and most chinchillas are. These are the most common chinchillas and basically <laughs> that's what Merlin is. Standard Gray is actually the original color of what chinchillas used to be before they got breeded. This is what they look like in the wild and that was before people breeded them and began mutations. So they basically just have a dark gray back with like gray sides and they have a white underbelly. They're pretty common, pretty standard, and actually since these are the standard color, they're cheaper than other mutations. So it's not always the case, but most of the time they are cheaper when they are gray. The next color is hetero beige, several shades of lighter beige. So often the chinchilla's back is a little bit darker than the rest and they have pink ears and red eyes. Me personally, I just, I don't know, pink ears and red eyes <laughs> sounds a little interesting. I've never seen a chinchilla in person that color, so I don't know. They're probably really cute, but I just, I don't know, I haven't seen one like that. The next one is a homo beige and it's a little bit lighter than the hetero beige and they also have really bright red eyes. The next color is a silver mosaic and these ones come from the same same breeding standards as gray chinchillas and white ones. So if you breed a gray and a white, you get a silver mosaic. They have white fur, but the tips of their fur is a little bit of gray tipped. And I think that is so cute. And the next one is a white mosaic. And they are probably, they, I think that they were the first ones to ever get mutated into that color. I don't know. But they are produced by breeding standard grays with whites, obviously. And um, the difference is, though, that they have dark ears and dark eyes. So, like, their ears are still uh, grayish, brownish. And their eyes are still black, but they, they themselves are white. So there are, obviously, white chinchillas in the wild. They're very rare. So if you breed a white one with a standard gray, you'll get yourself a white mosaic chinchilla. The next one is a pink white. And these are also known as beige mosaics, I think they're called, and they have pink ears and pink eyes and sometimes beige patches. Next one is a black velvet, which sounds so cute to me. I love these chinchillas. They are mostly all black, and then sometimes their bellies can be whitish or more on the lighter side, but um, typically they're all really black and they're so, so pretty. The brown velvet are also very gorgeous chinchillas. I love seeing brown chinchillas, they're so cute. And they basically just have brown fur and sometimes beige or white fur on their bellies. These ones are so pretty. The next one is the Homo Ebony. And these are all black with black ears and dark eyes. And they're actually quite popular in the chinchilla community. You see them a lot. And then the next one is Hetero Ebony, which is another popular color. And they usually have a mix of black and gray fur. And they can have gray to black underbellies, but most of them just have like blackish. Next one is a white mixed with an ebony, so they're called white ebony. And these chinchillas are white with gray or black patches on their body and sometimes they have no other color than just white. But they have very dark ears and dark eyes, which is really pretty. They can have white and then other patches of dark colors on their fur. So the next one is called Violet. And they're not as purple as, like, you know, you would think from the name. But they have a light hint of violet. I'm sure you've seen a popular picture all over the chinchilla community and online. I'll put it on the screen for you guys to see. But basically, they do have a little bit of a purplish tint to them, which is really pretty. The next one is a light pastel. And they're generally... The gen they are generally the offspring of ebony, ebony and beige chinchillas. I cannot talk today. And so they resemble a beige in color as adults. When they're born, they're nearly white in color, so they do get darker. And then the dark pastel slash tan is they get a darker coat closer to light brown, which is really, really pretty. And the last one is sapphires, and they are actually said to be the hardest to breed and take care of. And they are generally a very light gray in color with hints of sapphire throughout the fur, which sounds so really pretty. Like, I, oh my word, I really want to see one of those. But anyway, that is pretty much it, guys, for this video. I just... 
Again, named off all the different colors and mutations that chinchillas can come in. People are breeding them constantly, trying to get new combinations, new colors. And these are some of the ones that are out there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful. And I will see you in next week's video.